Some taxi drivers are still fighting a deadline to have credit card readers installed in their cabs. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live now to explain why. Sam? Well, Tuesday's the deadline. A fine is $1,000 and confiscation of the cab, and almost everybody agrees that the drivers won't be ready. At least a lot of them won't be. But the Taxi Cab Commission says it is moving ahead, and a lot of the taxi industry are crying unfair. Owners of DC taxi cab companies roam the halls of the Wilson building today trying to be heard. Yesterday, they organized a protest rally across the street. Their message an October 1st deadline when they must have credit card readers installed in all cabs is unfair. There's a lot of cars. I mean, uh, you got to be installed. And what is the rush? We are we, we willing to install the credit card equipment in. So let, give us a chance. As for the taxi cab commission that set the deadline, They've had 120 days, and the drivers need to stop dragging their feet and facing up to the reality of what the consumers want from them. Drivers argue about the time, glitches in installation, and the drivers' pleas are sparking some council interest. These folks are trying to comply with the regulations. The Taxi Cab Commission is not making them or giving them an opportunity to do that. Uh, and now they're coming down hard on them. You know, that's not how the government should work. Plus, a dispute between one installer, Hitch, and the Taxi Cab Commission stopped work six days. They've all got drivers that are sitting in, in the parking lot unable to go to work because we're not able to provision new equipment in the cars. That was finally resolved today. We have over 70 drivers that are still home. They could not work. The mayor today seemed unaware of the dispute. Back to the commission chairman. The deadline's next Tuesday. And it's, that's it? That's it at the moment. That's it. It might change. I don't know. I'm not planning to change it. Chairman Linton said that there are still, or rather as of last Friday, there were 3,700 cabs that were in compliance, meaning uh, that's roughly half, and that means roughly half are not in compliance. And so come Tuesday morning, a lot of them will either be staying home or trying to dodge the hack inspectors. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.